Welcome back. In this video, I remove and replace the throttle body or actuator on this 1.2 TSI Volkswagen engine. The engine code on this one is a CBZB and if I remember this right, it is a 2012 production. So what happened? Why do I change it? Well, the client called and claimed that the warning light for the check engine popped right up in the instrument cluster. At the same time, there was a sudden loss in power, followed up by a drop in performance, and that there is no acceleration possibility. Luckily for him, he was only about 5 minutes away from my shop, so he kinda managed to drive the car in limo by its own, right over here, without the need of a trailer. As for that particular moment, I didn't have time for the car, so it had to wait. In the coming morning the car was cold, since it was already the next day, I put the ignition on and start the engine and there was no more problem. The engine revved and worked just fine like nothing happened before. So I plugged in the VCDC scanner to look up for some fault codes, enter the engine control module and the error codes show right up. As you can see in the screenshot I took, the first one was a P0122 throttle position sensor or G69 and the second one was a P0222 angle sensor to fourth throttle or G188. There were also a few other fault codes but I focused my attention only on these two ones. Since the engine was running normal, I cleared the fault codes and nothing came back up. I turned off the ignition, then turned it back on, engine started again, let it idle for a few minutes and after that I made another check with the scanner and there were no fault codes stored in the ECU. Called the customer and told him that everything is fine for the moment. I said to him that it could be that the throttle body had a softer slip or some impurities and that what happened was just briefly or that after a longer run, fall codes could pop up and the car would break again. Bracket. I was very busy and short in time with other projects that were already in the shop, as I was leaving the country in the next days for a whole week and I had to finish the remaining cars. So the client showed up and took the car for a test run. After about 15 minutes, the car entered again into limb mode, lost power and the history repeated itself. It is a very easy job to remove and install this throttle body, from my point of view, but unfortunately it is a not budget friendly part to buy. The original OE part is around 650 euro given or taken 50 euro, depending on the supplier, stock, date, time and delivery. This is a aftermarket premium part that I installed back in and it was just right under 400 euro. There are one or two other aftermarket suppliers for this particular part number, but there are also some not so known brands. And from my side of view, it is better to stay safe and to work only with known providers. The tools that you would need for this particular job are a 30 Torx screwdriver or ratchet with that specific Torx nut and maybe a prior for some clips and plugs that you encounter on the way. First, you have two small screws right in front on the intake tube and four long screws right down on the throttle body which is clipped directly on the end side of that intake tube. Before you can remove the tube from the engine, you also need to release some of the connection plugs, either by hand or with the help of a little flat screwdriver or some similar tool. One would be from the index sensor that's mounted right up on this tube and the second one is from the throttle actuator. Both of them are very easy to reach. I had a few close-up videos recorded with my phone throughout this job. From the unboxing of the new part, the inquiry of the control modulus I was checking up the phone calls, 
and from the instrument cluster for the before and after repair chain. But sadly, I lost them as I accidentally deleted them. Sorry for this one. After a successful install, it was just about clearing the fault codes from the engine control module and letting the engine to warm up and see how it works. The only warning light that was still on was from a blown bulb light, which I also replaced later. After about 30 minutes of idling, I took the car on a test drive, a longer test run if I might say so, to check it out and to be sure that everything runs just fine. And so it was. There were no more problems with this car. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. God bless you.